Dalton, but is you know you're here at the Connecticut uh, Film Festival. Is yeah, there it's easy to get in? Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, I know that um, you know it's a very personal documentary that yeah. that you that you've that you've made. Well, that's the whole how, point of No how Kidding do you, Me Too. Well, how do you with No Kidding Me Too? How do you invest so much personal energy and still keep your sanity? Is it because you know that you might it's help other people? Way, it's the only way. I am. Uh, it's it's service. It's giving back what I've found out about my life. Uh, the quality of my life is so full and vibrant and I can feel it again, you see? I had a great career. I've had a great career. And I've enjoyed the, the, be the best kind of, uh, uh, all my dreams came true, but I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel the happiness. All I felt was a melancholy and a sadness. And now I feel again. So I want everybody to get what I got. So that's why I go out there and I tell people, and by giving this service, I get something back. I get to keep my sanity uh, today. You've had such a long career. What are some of your favorite highlights that, that you've worked on? One of my favorite films that you've been, I'll mention, is Midnight Run. And I know that um, Charles Grodin did a screening in Ridgefield a couple months ago and did a Q&A afterwards. What did he say? He loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, he said it was his favorite movie that he was in. I think, uh, I, I, I know it was mine. Uh, well, I, you, know, you know what, that's not entirely true. I've had several. My favorite movie I was ever in was The Goonies, because it was so much fun to work on that job. And uh, uh, but Midnight Run was a great, great gig for me. And uh, I like working on Bound. I love working with the Wachowski brothers. You know, I love working with Christopher Nolan. I, I, uh, I love working with Taylor Hackford and Steven Spielberg and Andy Davis. And a lot of people can't say that, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I've worked for all of those guys more than once. And a lot of people can't say that either. You know, and I'm going to work with Chris Columbus now on, on, on Percy Jackson, his new movie, and he wrote, he wrote The Goonies. So I, I've had the, I, you know, I, I've, I've been so fortunate. And my mental illness is, is, I'm glad I'm mentally ill because it's the reason that I have the quality of acting that I am, the quality of acting, because I'm oversensitive. I'm emotionally available, and that's because I'm mentally ill. And, uh, and so I... The world is harder on me because I'm more sensitive to it. But I'm able to give the characters I play more sensitivity. And uh, I, I'm able to exercise a lot of my own demons through the characters I play. We shouldn't be ashamed of our disease. Uh, uh, we have an 80% recovery rate. We can talk about it. Uh, that all of these kids that you see here, that every one of you should have emotional intimacy. That you shouldn't be ashamed to talk to each other. If uh, somebody asks you how you feel, and tell the truth, and because we can help each other, and in helping each other, there's not enough doctors, lawyers, or Indian chiefs to put us back together. We are able to put ourselves back together.